Martin Perez has been shining. He's been winning. Look at what he did in the month of May. Look at what he has done throughout the season as well. In the month of May, he was 4-0. The ERA was a minuscule .64. And uh, one of the reasons Texas Rangers fighting to get above 500 for the first time this season. Tremendous start in his last start a couple of days ago. And that is one of the reasons why we gave him the. That's what cemented it. That's what cemented the Let's pitch go. hand winner for the month of May from the Texas Rangers, Martin Perez. Congratulations, thank you, thank Martin. You, thank you. Hey, uh, you, you, <laughs> obviously you're, you've had a tremendous season. But, I mean, where does this honor rank for your big league career? <laughs> to be holding and awarded <laughs> such a prestigious, ridiculous trophy. I uh, mean, I'm really happy to have uh, this trophy, but, uh, you know, it's uh, just, we just need to throw strikes, man, every time, you know, <laughs> set the hitter to, you know, attack the hitters and uh, throw the pitch where you want and hit the glove, that's it. I, I think you have the trophy. We, I believe we, we spared no expense in sending He's it to one? you. Uh, overnight, I believe you have the trophy with you there. Uh, yes. it, man. Oh. Look, at, look at this. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> this is not just for me. You know, this is for my teammates and uh, for the, uh, you know, I'm going to say thank you to Texas really? to bring me back. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Yes. All right. All yeah. seriousness, Martin, you've been in the league a long okay. time, but you are absolutely dominating right now. What it, what, come on. What's been the biggest difference? Uh, you know, I'm, uh, been working a lot to move in the ball, both sides of the plate, and uh, you know, just I don't try to repeat two pitches in a row to the hitters. I just, you know, if you're throwing in, I just trying to go on outside, and if I go up, I just trying to go down, and and I think that's kind of like the game when you're a pitcher, you know, uh, in and out, in and in outside, up and down, and move their eyes, and you know, uh, I think uh, I've been doing a great job with that, and. The scouting report that we have here to just trying to follow and and uh, you know uh, don't trying to do too much because I think when when you're trying to do much it's it's hard because you have too many information in your mind. So now I just trying to do less and and I'm gonna get a you know getting a good result. So I'm gonna stay in the same page no matter yeah. what. Martin, every time I hear you talk, it's about routine and preparation. What is it for you? And how crucial is that to your success? I, I think is 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 everything because if you if you come to the big league and you don't have routine, uh, it's not way then you're gonna you're gonna be here for a long time. So, because when you when you have a routine, you know what you need to do every day before you start. But if you don't have that, when you come to the field, you're gonna try something different every day, and yeah. that's not that's not good because you not stay with the, with your routine. It doesn't matter how you pitch; you're gonna have a good day, you're gonna have a bad days, but you have to stay with that because at some point you're gonna you're gonna get your, your timing or your rhythm back, and you're gonna start doing you know for for what you're waiting for. Martin, uh, during your time with the Boston Red Sox, I read where our colleague Pedro Martinez had a chance to talk with you. I believe it was during one of your bullpen sessions. And the the message, if I'm if I read it correctly, was you need to learn to throw quality <laughs> balls, not quality yes. strikes, but quality balls. What did that mean yeah. to you? And what do you think what was the message he was trying to tell you? Uh, he just told me, like, don't leave the ball in the middle with two strikes, man. I mean, uh, your problem is you're throwing too many strikes. So you when you got to strike, just hey, start to think how to move the ball, how to mm. set the heater to throw the pitch that you want. It. That's what I'm doing right now, you know. I go in, in, or I go away, I go in, in, and now I can go with my best secondary pitches. And uh, I think that's the key right now. But uh, he told me, as soon as he saw me in, in Boston 2020, he went like, hey, kid, you know what's your problem? I went like, I don't know, you told me. <laughs> I think I, throw too, I walk in too many guys, and he said, no. You don't throw in quality ball. You need to throw balls to, to you know, to go deep in the game. And mm. and I always have that on my mind. I always keep and and, and you know, I'm not scared. I'm not scared to to miss because when you when you're scared to miss, uh, it's gonna be hard. But if I miss, I just you know get the ball back and you know go out there and attack the hitters again and you know trying to put uh, you know that situation for get out quick at the inning. Martin, I was just told by our researcher that you have the highest percentage of balls thrown on the edges of the strike zone. I mean, that that must be, obviously that's by design, yes? Yes, 
Yes, but uh, you know, I start I start you know thinking a little bit more, and and I started looking the heaters, and uh, before I come to spring training, I remember that I woke up one day at home, back home in Venezuela, and I said, Martin, I mean, you never had to have a skirt to throw the ball because it's really hard to hit the baseball. <laughs> it's not easy. I th that's the hardest teams in baseball, you know, hit the ball with a bat and and. You know, after after I say that to myself, I went like, I got to go out there and do my job no matter what. Mm. Because if I throw the pitch what I want and then I hit the glove every time, I'm going to do what I'm going to do and I'm going to get the results that I'm looking for. So, and now I'm doing it. So, that's really good. Martin, what do you like to do? What's your off day like? Uh, my off day, sing, make a barbecue. And that's Wait, it. Sing? I like to sing a lot. Oh yeah, before, oh. Hey, be, guy, before I played baseball when I was when I was a kid, like 10 or 12 years old, I just leave baseball because my dad liked to like me to sing and I started singing for like a two years, and uh, you know that was fun. But I always when I got people on the house, when I have the family, I'm making the barbecue and I start singing salsa, merengue. <laughs> I mean, uh, if I, like I know that. the song, I can do it. <laughs> I like that. We need yeah. to go to Martin yeah. Perez's house for some barbecue and some Whenever karaoke. you guys want, whenever <laughs> you guys want, you guys, you guys welcome. What are you going to sing for us today, Martin? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Don't what, put him not, on not English because, you know, it's hard for me, but, you know, I can sing. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's say salsa, <laughs> like Los Adolescentes. That's one of the biggest, uh, you know, band. Uh, Venezuela, si te has de marchar, adiós que te vaya bien. Y si me hace falta, lloraré por tu querer. Mm. Comprende que hoy en la vida, si no hay amor, todo termina así. Es fácil buscar, difícil perdonar cuando un amor se va y se Come va. On. I love that. I it, man. I have a second chance in my life. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that was well done, Martin. Martin, you live in Venezuela in the off season? Yes, yes. I have, uh, I have my house there. I have my family, my kids. They live in Miami, but uh, uh, I moved to Venezuela, and I have everybody there. So did you play in, in I know baseball there? Uh, did you we, play in, we, the, in the winter uh, league? No, there? not never. Not really. I just played in 2010, and uh, you know maybe this year. You know, but uh, I don't know yet. Hey, Martin, before we get you out of here, uh, your team, as you're well aware, has yeah. a tradition where after a win, the player of the game. <laughs> gets the special cowboy hat. Brad Miller, as you've seen here, he's earned it a couple times, but apparently it's become a point of controversy a little bit between his teammates and Martin Perez. Brad Miller talked about it with Kevin Millar on IT. Listen to this, Martin. Uh, Martin Perez has had some tough luck. The dude is twirling gems and can't get the hat. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, we just give it to somebody else. I think we need to keep that going. Like he throws, unless he throws like a perfect game, he doesn't get the hat. I think it would be a nice <laughs> little running um, joke. He freaks out every time. Martin, uh, great. Martin, they're killing you. Come on. I know, man. Every time <laughs> after my games, I went inside like really happy okay i maybe win the hat and they went like hey the hat is for this guy and i was like guys what happened man how many innings so more do i need to throw so i need a hat man and now i have them on my locker so hey I'm they maybe gonna keep it. To they do not have that trophy you're holding in your hand that's for they darn won't. sure i know i know and i'm gonna go inside really loud and i'm gonna say to everybody did you see this yes <laughs> i got it yes that's what we love martin what'd you have for breakfast oh my god <laughs> so uh, i did uh, i did empanadas today four Ooh. empanadas what inside really oh, yeah what was Egg? inside Hamoni uh, queso? cheese and uh, meat yeah hamoni queso really good bang yeah. i played in caracas martin. Buenísimo. we've been down i down, know down bro down hey caracas man oh, it's not the same yeah Hey, Martin, awesome. thank yeah. you very much for playing along. Thank yeah, you very guys, much for you. joining us. Congratulations on all your success. Hey, hope we're going to be at the All-Star Game in Los Angeles. Hopefully you're there too. All right, thank you. Thank you for having me, guys. You got have a good it. Day.